Ladies, ladies, I'm here on this show, and I'm here on this show to talk about uh, the Milwaukee Brewers beating the uh, Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Two-one reaction here. Uh, Jake Bowers getting the uh, walk-off hit tonight for Milwaukee, and a uh, big series uh, for Milwaukee. You know, taking two out of three here against Philadelphia before playing Arizona tomorrow. Playing Arizona again. That should be another fun series to recap. Uh, over this week, a uh, game ending single by Jake Bowers lifting them uh, to a 2 1 victory on a day where they clinched uh, the NL Central with the Cubs losing to the Athletics of all teams. And, um, Philly's pitching was, their starting pitching I thought was pretty good this series. Uh, outside Ranger Suarez, I thought, um, Zach Wheeler was good yesterday and Aaron Nola was good today. He only gave up that one run. And the Brewers have only hit two ho only hit two homers in 50 innings against the Phillies this season. Both of them, Reese Hoskins, off Aaron Nolan, and Zach Wheeler. There's like 50 something innings. Former uh, uh, Philly legend. But yeah, uh, I was wrong about the Brewers this year, man. I didn't I didn't think they would be this good because there, I just had questions about that rotation and the offense. But they've uh, really proved me wrong this year. Gotta give credit where credit's due. The Brewers done way better than I expected this year. And they're a really good a team, like, at home and away from home. Like, they have winning records at home and away. And early in the year, in, the, in spring training, nobody believed in them. Like, every ranking had them fourth or fifth finishing in their division. Um... Gotta give credit, man. Brewers pitching is really good. And, um. Brewers pitching is really good, man. And the Phillies, um. Uh, missed some pitches. Um. And in the ninth, once the triple happens, everything else is just desperate survival, and they just couldn't survive. Especially with that runner being on third. Yeah, uh, Freddie Peralta, who'd been kind of wild over some of the starts, like, he would get good outings, so like, giving up maybe a run or two, but he kind of been wild, but tonight, I uh, thought a pretty good outing from Freddie Peralta. He wasn't really that wild. Uh, he struck out a lot of batters tonight. Uh, five innings, two hits, one earned run, two walks, nine strikeouts from Freddie Peralta. Uh, I think he's their ace. Five solid innings, uh, gave up one run, two hits, and nine strikeouts on 91 pitches. So, a good outing. Probably his best outing of the season. I, I guess his efficiency, I guess, again, a concern, but he allowed only one run. And only two hits. But he goes deep to batters all too often, like deep into counts. Like some deep counts, but he was overall a nice start. 16 whiffs on 45 swings. Like he was good in that, in that uh, scene. But if the Brewers can get this start from him in the playoffs, they'll take it. Like the offense didn't show up in there, no, I thought, besides Reese Hawkins getting that homer. Man, yeah, good outing, Fred Bronto. The bullpen was really good. After that, we in, I believe, four scoreless innings. Joe Ross, point two innings pitch, one hit, no one runs, one walk, one strikeout. They could take him out with two outs, and they bring in Joe Cohen, or excuse me, Jared Cohen. 1.1 innings pitch, no hits, no earned runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. Then they bring in Trevor McGill. One inning, one hit, no earned runs, no walks, and one strikeout. Having a pretty good solid season is uh, McGill. With a 2.91 earned run average. And Devin Williams comes in, uh, one inning, no hits, no earned runs, no walks, three strikeouts. Strikes out the side in the ninth inning there to keep it tied and give the Brewers a chance to walk it off, and, and they eventually did. Now we'll go over the Phillies pitching. Just get theirs out of the way. Aaron Nola, uh, tough, tough uh, loss for the Phillies, man. Uh, he goes seven innings, three hits, one earned run, one walk, nine strikeouts over seven innings. Um, man, that's what, 31 Philly batters struck out in like, what, two, three days? Like, they really, they were, the offense for the Phillies just wasn't good. And them knocking just four, four hits. And striking out like 16 times, it's not a good recipe for a win. I guess the positive note, Aaron Nola looked good, but the offense really didn't. Like, they strike out way too much. Like, you can't strike out this much in the postseason. 
and expect your pitcher to be perfect every inning. Like, your pitcher could have a blow-up inning. The offense just strikes out way too much for them. They lost tonight, but I guess Aaron Nola looked good. Like, you're, you got a good feeling with Wheeler, Nola, and maybe Christopher Sanchez pitching the way they are heading to the playoffs. But you want to see your offense pitch, or um, you want you want to see your offense hit well. But they just aren't right now. The offense is going cold once again for the Phillies, and that's the thing. Like they're just too hot and cold offensively. You have to be on your A game in, in the playoffs. And ah, man, I can see the Phillies getting upset early. To be honest. Not just because of, not because of the rotation. I think the rotation's good. It's just the offense is too inconsistent. Like they got the talent, they just got to put it together. Uh, then Orion Kirkering comes out of the bullpen, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, two strikeouts. And then Carlos Estevez, point one innings pitch, two hits, one earned run, two walks, and one strikeout for Carlos Estevez. Uh, blew the game there in the ninth inning. Well, the offense really did. You can't really blame the pitching. As for the Brewers' offense. I uh, had five total hits for two runs, one in the fifth, one in the ninth. Uh, Go over their offense, two running, 0 for 3 and a walk. Churio, 1 for 4. Contreras, 1 for 3 and a walk. Garrett Mitchell, 0 for 4. Adamas, 0 for 3 and a walk. Bowers, 1 for 4 and RBI. Hoskins, 2 for 3 and RBI. Freilich and Ortiz were each 0 for 3. As for the Phillies, they had four total hits for one run, scoring their run in the second. Schwarber, 1 for 3 and a walk. Turner, 1 for 4. Harper, 0 for 3 and a walk. Castellanos, 0 for 4. Bone, 1 for 3 and a walk. And RBI on a solo homer. Their only run of the game tonight on that shoe. Stott, 1 for 4. Marsh, 0 for 4. Rojas, and, or Johan Rojas, 0 for 3. Um, and Garrett Subs, 0 for 3. The Phillies dropped to 91 61. Brewers improved 88 and uh, 64. Good win for the Brewers. Um, yeah, they clinched their division earlier today. Like I said, I didn't think they would be this good. They can, they're low key. Might be low key. They can make the World Series this year. I'm not gonna lie. I think they can because they got a really good offense and their pitching. Just find a way to make guys good. Uh, but yeah, walk off win today. They win the division. So yeah, uh, two one Brewers win. That's really all I gotta say here. Good two out of three series win for Milwaukee. Now they got Arizona again tomorrow. They had a um, good series against them um, in their previous series where they took two out of three. So we'll see what happens there. But I'll say here, leave a like, comment, more. And next time, I'll go out. Peace. And I'll see you guys for the Yankees and Mariners game two three recap tonight on that show.